Guys, welcome back to another ESL podcast. Welcome back to a special edition of TOEFL IBT. If this is the first time you're tuning in, I doubt it, okay? Because, again, my TOEFL IBT podcast, they've done, <clears throat> excuse me, so well over the past, I don't know, I guess you could say seven months, including finally topping off that 2,000 podcast or podcast plays uh, in one of my most popular podcasts. So that's why I wanted to go back to this because now I found my specific niche that a lot of you enjoy, that a lot of you need to learn from. So in saying that, normally in TOEFL IBT, I do coaching podcasts. So I bring someone on, I review some of their talkings, et cetera, et cetera. But in this one, I'm going to show you how to note take on the part four. So part one, I realize is the most difficult for the majority of you because you're not able to develop your thoughts, right? So we're going to continue focusing on part one. Now, part two, three, and four for the people who follow me from Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Mexico, Chile, Brazil, you guys don't have a problem doing part two, part three, part four. However, we can always get better at the note taking. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to screen share with you guys and along with the sound. And today we're gonna to be covering something called co-evolutions. This was on mybesttest.com. Uh, this is, you know, the TOEFL, what is it? The, the TOEFL website that you can find a lot of different material on. So what I'm going to do today is I'm gonna play this audio. All right, and then from there, you're going to see how I ta -ta 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 take notes on here. If, of course, it wants to take notes. Last time it didn't work, so it's a little bit laggy, but we'll see how it goes because this MacBook is old. So in saying that, here we go. Speaking, part four question, co-evolution, how to take notes. Let's dive right into this. So watch the key words that I write down for those of you who are listening to me on the ESL podcast, you will hear me recite my keywords out loud, okay? For those of you watching, you get to see it and you get to hear it. So in saying that, guys, let's get right into it. it. Happens when two species reciprocally affects each other's evolution. In fact, coevolution is an extreme example of mutualism. For example, honeybirds and bird pollinating flowers have evolved in a mutualistic relationship. The flower has nectar suited to the bird's diet, the color suited to the bird's vision, and the shape is the perfect size for the bird's beak. Bird pollinating flowers usually have a higher volume of nectar pollinated by insects. This meets the bird's high energy requirements. Therefore, the blooming time of bird pollinating flowers usually coincide with honeybird's breeding season. Another example of coevolution can be found in acacia ants and acacia trees. The acacia trees have large hulking trunks which acacia ants live in. The tree makes a substance that can be used by the ants as food, while the ants defend the tree from herbivores by attacking plant-eating insects and other plants competing for sunlight. So, ultimately, in this relationship of coevolution, two species rely on one another for survival while reciprocally affecting each other's evolution. All right, guys, so let me hurry up. Okay, good, it just paused automatically. Whoa, I missed a key piece of information. Wait, 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 let me think. It said that ants live in the trees pr to protect the trees from plant-eating insects and trees benefit from the ants because they give off wait the plants eat a substance from the tree so anyways i actually wrote it down right here but in saying that guys for those of you who watch me it's very difficult because i'm typing right so it's easier for me but it's difficult for you why <sighs> well writing is far more difficult than of course typing now i'm not exactly sure if you guys do typing i know some people who have typed out the information. If you could do that because you're a quicker typer such as me, do it. But more than likely, you're not going to be able to take all these notes down writing. If you can, oh my God, you are amazing. 
All right. So what I did, I took all the content words in the focus words, all the key specific details that relate to examples out of the context. Now, I could show you guys, I'll probably put it on my blog, by the way. You'll be able to see this listening on my blog. It's going to be right below this. So if you guys are watching this at the time, the YouTube Live, the Facebook Live, You'll see my website, thearsiniobuckshow.com. Check out the live and see if I got all the specific details. But the details that I had written down goes a little something like this. Two species affect each other. That's coevolution. okay? Extreme example of mutualism. Flowers, hummingbirds have evolved. You got lector, color suited to vision, shape perfect for size. Now, the problem there is I should have either written down flowers for color suited to vision and the hummingbird shape perfect for size, okay? Now, I hope I got that right. But again, I was just focusing on the whole note taken so you can see the content words that I get out of it. Now, also comparisons. Make sure you write down those comparisons. So, high volume of nectar. However, what has a high volume of nectar? So I'm guessing, obviously, the plant. Now, and it also meets energy requirements, okay? So I got the main verb, and I got the compound, you know, the noun or the compound noun, energy requirements. So because that is a key specific detail that, again, you should definitely include in your small one-minute talk. The blooming time coincides with the breeding season, okay? And then it goes into an entire different phase, which is, the ants and trees. However, it said Keisha. Now, Keisha, if you remember that, fantastic. You don't have to write it out. I was going to write it out, but then I started contemplating, man, should I write this out? Of course not, because I'm going to be speaking it. Now, I remember it, so I would say Keisha ants and Keisha trees. Okay, so trees have something that ants live in, and they have a substance that's food for ants. Now, Ants, they help the trees because they attack plant-eating insects. So in saying that, in your last eight seconds, these are two species that rely on one another for survival. <laughs> Boom! That's how you do your part two, your part three, your part four. Part three is a little bit more difficult. But just look at my note-taking, okay? Two species, extreme example of mutualism. Uh, now, uh, of course, I wrote down have evolved as a present perfect, suited, main verb. Uh, I also wrote down coincides, another verb, have something. Okay, that's very important. You see the different verbs that I wrote down. It's not like, it's not basic household verbs, right? Because I want to focus more on the content because the household verbs I'm just going to create at the time of my speaking, right? So you don't want to waste time writing that down because you're going to use connectors in the verb to be to connect your entire one minute little presentation. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? So to sum this up, what can you take away from this? Okay, for those of you watching on Facebook, for those of you who are tuned in on my, of course, um, what is it? My, uh, my YouTube, wherever, or my podcast. It's a simple fact that you need to focus on content words and focus words. Write those down. Do not worry about the verbs to be. You see that I had written down a couple of, you, you know, such as effect, have evolved, main verbs like that, just so I could put emphasis on something that it has. But nonetheless, all the ox, you know, the ox verbs like, you know, do and the, it does this and it does that. I don't write that down. Why? Because that's just going to go with the flow when I'm doing my presentation, just to reiterate. So in saying that, finally, guys, I've done this, man, long enough because I tried doing it the other day, but hopefully that all went well. If you guys have any questions, if you're interested in any coaching, if you're interested in my ESL podcast, you make sure you go to my page. If you have any questions, follow me on Instagram, tag, like, post, and share a review on the Apple Store if you have the opportunity. So, in saying that, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We have a lot more coming, so you better stay tuned for it. Over and out.